I think children learn best, especially in netball, with the questioning, letting them answer, let them figure out. I think it's all about discovery with kids. I think that's one of the most important things. So, if you went high and long over their heads, what did it mean? Yes, Ali. Coaching has come a long way. It used to be very tell, 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 tell. And having seen, I think, some of those light bulb moments when you'll be having a conversation, it might feel like it's a bit staggered and a bit, a bit stuttered. And then someone will suddenly go, oh, well, if we do this, this, and this, does that mean that? I think for all of that impatience you might have in the early stages of a session, when you get that, I think the development of the child just in that one moment far outweighs the few hours you might have spent just telling them the whole time. Yeah, so just in passing, so two of you have passed to each other. Putting them in match play, maybe putting them in situations they're not too comfortable in, letting them figure out that they are able to play in that position, they can do well, and then that itself builds their confidence as well. Praise them, praise them when they do well. And if they do wrong, don't be harsh to them. You have to let them figure out why they've done it wrong. How did that feel for you attacking that one? What do we think worked better? When the kids get into a competitive environment, their coach can't really then help make the decisions for them. They, they can shout on the sidelines all they like, but that's not gonna actually then develop them as players. So we need to create situations in training where the coaches are always empowering the players to start making those decisions for themselves, taking ownership of making those decisions and have those discussions with one another and be communicating because then when they go into a match they are prepared for that situation and they're comfortable in that situation.